Uh, there's an effort to get more kids vaccinated in the Pasadena Unified School District ahead of their return to the classroom. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Pasadena with a look at this final push. Cara, good morning. Good morning. About 16,000 students, Suzanne, going back to school here tomorrow. And there are some heightened concerns because of that new Delta variant. So a vaccination push is underway. Check it out. These vaccines save lives and make it possible for us to return to school, see our friends and end this pandemic. So don't miss your shot. Pasadena Unified has been helping host clinics at their headquarters this week and no appointments are needed as those wrap up today. They are encouraging students 12 and older and all district staff to roll up their sleeves. This is Pasadena's mayor and some parents are calling for the school board to go further and mandate staff vaccinations. Health experts say the best way to protect the 12 and under crowd who can't get the shots is to vaccinate everyone around them who can. These clinics have also been opened up to the general community. Estimates are about one in every five new U.S. COVID infections are in children. We spoke with Pasadena's public health director about that. Even though children tend to do better with COVID infection, we do see children in the hospital. And we do see children with difficulty breathing and, and parents who say, I, I didn't know that this could happen to a child. So we really want people to have the facts and know that kids can get sick. A long list of other safety precautions included required masking indoors will also be in place as kids go back. Here in Pasadena Unified, the district superintendent told me he's looking to put another aggressive step into place, and that's mandating weekly testing of as many students and staff as possible with the focus particularly on elementary students. And back here alive, DeMarco Suzanne, he's going to be taking that to the school board. He says they have already expressed some interest in it. Thank you, Cara. But before you go, LAUSD already requires regular COVID testing of students. Does it look like other districts could follow suit? Yeah, they could. And what we heard from the public health director here is that there are state resources available to help with that funding, as well as federal resources, because obviously there's a lot of logistics involved in actually just doing those tests. At the same time, you've also got to get parents on board.